A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating from the book of John, chapter 15, verses 1 and 2. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. Metaphors for wine and vineyards are common in the Bible for a reason. Most people would have been familiar with the process of growing and tending grapes. The disciples being Jewish would have recognized reference to wines from the Old Testament. This morning we learn that Jesus is the true wine. This means that there are untruthful wines too. John 10.10 10 says that the thief comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. But the true wine Jesus comes to give life. When a person is connected to Jesus the true wine, he or she is rest assured of abundant life in Christ. Have you ever tried to return something to a store without a receipt. It can sometimes be a hassle because your receipt is the easiest way to prove you bought that item from that store. It is your proof of purchase. In verse 8, Jesus tells the disciples that it is by bearing much fruit that they will prove to be his disciples. They don't become his disciples by doing a bunch of good things. Jesus makes this abundantly clear. A few verses later when he says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. Fruit does not make a disciple any more than a receipt makes a purchase. Only Jesus has the ultimate authority to make disciples. But just as your receipt is what proves your purchase, fruit is what proves discipleship. In a perfect world, you'd never make a big purchase without a receipt to accompany that purchase. Even more so, you'll never find a true disciple who does not produce fruit. When you are connected to Jesus, you will prove your owner. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for revealing the truth. I belong to you forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.